What do bald eagles, Nutella, and democracy have in common? Stay tuned to find out. Hello everyone, this is Trevor Gould of My Glendale City News. We're bringing you the Jewel City's latest news, events, and information. I think we can all agree on several things. Nutella's the best, puppies are cute, and voting is the cornerstone of our democracy. On Tuesday, April 4th, Glendale residents flocked to the polls to cast their votes for City Council, Glendale Unified School District Board, and Glendale Community College District Board. Our city clerk's office oversaw 29 polling locations, and all of their hard work resulted in a quality voting experience for our residents. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what democracy is all about. Roll the patriotic B-roll, please. There were three available city council seats up for grabs, and once the dust had settled, we had our preliminary results. It looks like incumbents Ara Najarian and Zare Sinanian retained their seats, while the vacant seat will be filled by Vrej Agajanian. But wait, the final tally will occur on April 21st, and the newly elected council members will be confirmed and will be sworn in Monday, May 1st. Here at My Glendale City News, we like to keep things light for you all. But now is the time to be serious. We have several events coming up dedicated to commemorating the Armenian Genocide and other acts of oppression as part of the city's Week of Remembrance. First, we have two events that comprise our Man's Inhumanity Demand series. Poetry Night is slated for 5.30 p.m. on Tuesday, April 18th at our very own Perkins Plaza. Brand Library will be hosting a historical view of the Assyrian Genocide on Thursday, April 20th. Sunday, April 23rd is the date for the Unified Young Armenians Candlelight Vigil in Parcher Plaza outside City Hall. The ceremonies will begin at 6 p.m. On Monday, April 24th, we'll be hosting the City of Glendale's annual Armenian Genocide Commemorative Event at the Alex Theater. It will feature a keynote speaker and multiple performances. It is scheduled to begin at 7 p.m. Please note, tickets are free but limited to four per person. You can get these free tickets at the Alex Theater, Americana at Brand Concierge Services, and Glendale Community College. You may also order them online at alextheater.org. Here at the City of Glendale, we're all about serving you. However, we don't mind boasting about some of our accolades every now and then. These aren't participation trophies either, millennials. Here's a quick list of distinctions we've earned recently. Cue the counter. According to the Fiscal Times, our fiscal strength is pretty mighty because they ranked us sixth out of 116 large U.S. cities. What can we say? We're power lifters. We pride ourselves in our police, fire, and 911 emergency services, and they landed us the seventh spot in Safeco Insurance's annual ranking of lowest property crime rates in mid-sized Pacific cities. I like to have fun, you like to have fun, we all like to have fun and personal finance company WalletHub used 51 different metrics to identify the most fun cities across the country. They named us the fifth most fun city in California and 60th in the nation. Considering there are over 300 cities in America, we'll gladly take it. Last but certainly not least, our fresh air ordinance and licensing system for tobacco retailers have made a real impact on the air quality in our community. The American Lung Association just gave us an A grade in their annual State of Tobacco Control in California report, and that puts us amongst the top cities in California. Take a deep breath, Glendale. You earned it. The date of our Central Library's grand reopening is fast approaching, and we've got a tremendous lineup of events to celebrate this monumentous occasion. Mark your calendars for May 1st. Doors officially reopen at 9.30 a.m. The main ceremony will begin at 10.30 a.m. and scheduled events will occur throughout the day. Come celebrate with us. Everyone is welcome. That's it for this week's episode. For more news, visit MyGlendaleCityNews.com. As always, be sure to follow us on social media at MyGlendale. I'm Trevor Gould, and I'm going to go get some Nutella. <laughs>